Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's June 19th, Thursday morning, and uh, grain markets uh, showing a bit of recovery here from uh, the weakness we've seen the last few days. The uh, market's being led by the wheat complex, where we're up about seven cents as we speak. The uh, most of that uh, strength is coming off of uh, harvest delays, uh, wheat conditions, crop conditions uh, of the harvested product uh, showing some problems in the southern plains. We also uh, have got the uh, University of Illinois pathologist has uh, found a lot of uh, wheat head scab uh, in southern Illinois. That's reducing uh, yield. So uh, some concern there about uh, supply. Uh, on the other side of that, uh, Brazil announced yesterday afternoon that they will uh, take their uh, tariff on imported wheat from 10% down to zero through uh, August 15th for about a million tons of uh, imported wheat. And that's expected to uh, to come from the U.S. So that is providing some support for, uh, for the wheat uh, futures here that's been in such a sharp decline over the last uh, month. Uh, we did have... Uh, Export sales out this morning, the weekly sales. We had another uh, 97 or almost 98 uh, million tons that was uh, uh, shipped out or sold here this last uh, week. That's giving some uh, uh, some strength to the nearby soybean complex and is going to play uh, its role in the uh, volatility of the July and November soybean spread that uh, has been uh, extremely uh, uh, volatile here in the last uh, few days as traders unwind that spread as we go into the 1st of uh, July, uh, first notice day coming up here on uh, June 30th. So some of the large players will have to reduce their size of position down to 600 contracts uh, by that time. So expect to see some continued volatility in that uh, spread and, and the relationship between the, the old crop and new crop soybeans. Uh, corn exports uh, pretty much in line. Uh, old crop exports were uh, only 109,000 tons, which uh, uh, was well below what the trade was estimating. Wheat right in the, the middle of the range as far as expectations. Uh, a couple of key facts that we got to watch for here. We've got uh, option expiration tomorrow on the July contract. So that uh, could uh, draw uh, futures to uh, a certain strike, like $14 in the uh, the July contract might be a, a point that uh, we could see uh, futures traders attract uh, to as there's a lot of options uh, open at that uh, strike. Also, we've got... Uh, NOAA coming out with their long-term weather forecast uh, here uh, in the next couple of days, and that's uh, going to uh, be affecting the uh, the market as well. So uh, in the last few years, we've seen their weather reports uh, have an impact and a turning point on the the market uh, as if they, if they uh, suggest a drier uh, July. That could uh, change traders' minds, and we could uh, could see a rally. We're looking for anything that can give us a rally right now, as the weather conditions are uh, mostly uh, favorable to crop growth, except for the uh, the northern Iowa, southern Minnesota area, where they've been inundated with rain, and uh, it, the near-term forecast suggests uh, more rain for that area. So uh, uh, that we'll be watching very closely, uh, as it could impact. Uh, total production. We've got the uh, planning progress, uh, our planted acreage report coming out here on the 30th uh, that we'll uh, be monitoring as well. In the livestock complex, uh, we've had some uh, outstanding demand for uh, product in the last few days. Beef uh, yesterday, choice up another 274, select up 278. Uh, pork cutout values were up uh, 222 yesterday. We're seeing the strength in uh, futures market after uh, a couple days of uh, liquidation uh, here today. Expect the uh, the strength to uh, uh, to uh, hold in here as we've got a cattle on feed report coming out uh, tomorrow afternoon. Trades expecting uh, a reduction in uh, the uh, marketed numbers and a reduction in uh, placement numbers. Uh, and expect that the overall cattle on feed uh, could be down uh, 1 to 2%. So we'll be watching that very closely 
expect volatility in the livestock complex and a reason to stay in touch with Allendale's research. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. So uh, give us a call. You can reach us at 800-262-7538. Everybody have a successful trading day. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.